Hi guys, today we are going to discuss about Blue Prism Delivery Methodology or Development Best Practices. In last video we can we were talk about weight stage and all. We can continue with weight stage. See, always wait for the screen to change whatever it is always wait for the screen to change so whenever you are using weight stage use weight stage after navigate stage or any stages that causes the screen to update screen has to update okay and one more thing you have to make sure do not call published actions from within an object so, so you are creating one object that already created object the published one so actions whatever you are created published one do not call within an object so it will it will not best practice and it it will not help us to develop exception handling better and one more thing is do not make business decisions in the object think you have some uh, account code or else uh, account number so the or else uh, code logic so that business decisions cannot make in the object see when we, when we talk about objects we can get data items so data items is the main object whenever you are creating data items group the data items relevant blocks suppose thing now you are creating data item input so account number okay it is group int okay now you are creating outputs account type account name and opening data such that so uh, so group it input output or whatever the way you can group it group the data item with the relevant blocks and more thing is store global data items on the initial page okay thing your database connection string in data items you are creating database connection string with the global db connection string okay this is the data item you created so you have whenever you are creating global variables you can store it in global data item on the initial s page so we can use it on whenever you use it on the inside the actions you can use it and one more thing is no hard code data in the data item thing if you are you want application path that time if you are hard coding the data when you move or migrated into the other environments like vat or production environments it will not work out it will create the problem so no hard code data when never you created the data items and one more thing you have to make sure in objects you have to make sure the expose uh, usually we have three types of expose mode okay always set expose mode we have foreground background and exclusive usually in blue prism we are using exclusive why because exclusive we can run in desktop mode with the 
business objects in foreground and background it is uh, the thing whenever you are go with the run mode foreground and background so you can't make sure with the desktops it means it will not make sure your objects and process to run into the same things so make sure you in which area you have to go based on the things you you have to expose your run mode as well so we will discuss more about about run modes in which area or else in which part you have to use with the which one run mode thanks guys thanks for watching this video we will see more about in our next video